Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day of Utober. So, two things. I, for starters, I'm really excited to be here. I'm really excited to be filming today's video. I'm really excited to play this game, especially because I've spent the last few days just really sitting and contemplating whether or not to continue doing Utober this year or whether I should just focus in on my mental health for a little while, but I decided to choose option one and finish off Utober. It might bleed a little bit into November, but hey, as long as you guys are cool with hanging out closer to November, then that's cool with me too. Today is probably one of the first days that I have a bit of my energy back, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take it slow. There's gonna be murder mysteries, ghost stories, and a bunch of Halloween goodness, starting with today, where we're gonna play Until Dawn, which is a scary um, game. I haven't been a gamer in a really long time. I feel like part of that is the whole productivity loop that I fell into pretty much since 2017, because uh, in 2016, I used to play Halo all the time, and I got into a little bit of Stardew Valley earlier this year. I've been playing a bit of Best Fiends on my phone, but like, I haven't picked up like a console like this in so long, which huge thank you to my brother who's lending me his PlayStation. I went and found, I literally had to stock down this baby before my brother told me that I would have been able to just download it onto the console straight from the internet. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time with the intro. First I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to do this game or if you wanted me to do Sims Halloween and you guys, like most of you guys chose to play Until Dawn and I am so excited to play. If you guys don't know what Until Dawn is, it's pretty much a choice based spooky game. So there's a bunch of us and we're in a old abandoned cabin. I have to make choices along the game. Each choice you make is going to depict the future you end up with. And it sounds so good. Apparently it's spooky and scary. So I feel like it's perfect for Halloween. We're totally vibing on Halloween colors right now. I'm drinking an orange bubbly, but we might need to switch over to some red wine sometime through this if it ends up being as spooky as I think it is. Like I, I like scary things, but I don't like them when I'm by myself. But ultimately, let's just jump in. Okay, the butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to devastation hurricane weeks from now. A devastating hurricane weeks from now. You guys think that's true? The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Okay, I'm not, I'm like kind of a low-key indecisive person sometimes, like, I, I, if I'm under pressure, I'm hoping I can make decisions fast. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll overthink the shit out of it. Your ending is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. Choose them carefully. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, winter. I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but I'm kind of excited for winter. That looks so cozy. I mean, aside from the spooky music. And aside from that. Oh my God, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit, oh, come on. She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's. Oh my gosh, that girl looks so much like um, from Nashville. Hayden, Hayden Penetier, Penetier. That looks so much like her. Why are all the lights off? Oh no, what are they gonna do to Hannah? Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Did she not see? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Who is this? 
Wake up. Why, why are you sleeping on the counter? What's this? You look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. <gasps> no! Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Oh my god, but they're all in the room. That's such a mean joke. Okay, we need to go save her. How do we get there? Also, who are these dudes that are just passed out? What's in here? I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. No, Hannah, don't do it. Oh my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh, Hey, you guys are you guys dicks. Are you know that? Hannah! Also, do with a GoPro, you're gross. Use the right stick to choose. What do I have to choose? Find others, wake Josh. Find others. Buddy is passed out. Guys! There's someone outside. What the hell? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. No, that what was a mean you prank. Do? It's just messing around. You guys Dad. are it jerks. Serious. You yeah. jerks. Agreed. Hannah. Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. So you guys are just not gonna go look for your friend. Press the crash oh, action button before the timer runs out. Yeah, girl, run. Uh, fast. Oh no. Oh no, but the killer is all. Oh no. Footprints or noise? Uh, footprints. She just left the house. She definitely left footprints. Running towards the caribou? That was ballsy. Oh, oh. Shit. Okay. Okay. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Where? Yeah, where are you? How did she get so far so quickly? Use the touchpad as shown. Oh, poor Hannah. Where are you? Why is there no footprints? Wouldn't Hannah... <gasps> okay, L1 to walk faster, please. Care, boo. Hello? Has anyone seen Polar Hello? Express? What's this? Oh, a death totem. Great. Hannah, if you were upset, couldn't you have just like locked yourself in the bathroom? This is a little... This is a little much. Is that Hannah? Hannah. Hannah. Oh, huh? Hannah. Hug her. Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. No, no you're not. <laughs> Hannah, is that Hannah! 
Hannah's having a rough night. Dr. A.J. Hill. What? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure. I was gonna drop on. Hannah. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Great. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Why is this guy so creepy? Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Why is this guy right. so creepy? We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel. Oh, God. It is essential that you answer honestly in order oh, to get the Oh, don't most let it be the dead bodies. Experience. Also, you're really creepy, dude. What do I do? Turn it over. Okay. A farm and a scarecrow. The scarecrow has a hook. But the farm looks nice. Make you feel. Remember, be honest. Makes me feel happy. I feel uneasy. I mean, personally, I feel uneasy about the scarecrow, but farms make me happy. <laughs> oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? The farm. The sunshine or it's peaceful. Well, the scarecrow is not peaceful, so the sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> I see. So which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Darkness scares me or I feel depressed? What kind of darkness are we talking about? Metaphoric darkness or like actual lights off darkness? Lights off darkness scares me. Metaphorical darkness makes me feel depressed. Both? Um, but if we're talking sunshine, then it must be real darkness. So the dark kind of scares really? me. Really? That's interesting. Who is Where it? I come from. Way up north in Sweden. The nights are 18 hours long. <laughs> and why do you think you're afraid of the dark? Everyone fears it or I don't know. I think everyone fears like total pitch blackness, right? We're not talking about darkness you can see in. <sighs> why am I afraid of the dark? Everybody's afraid of the dark. Right. Like the dark dark. Ooh. No, 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 not everyone. But it's a perfectly natural fear. Darkness, after all. No, I would say human nature. And we're not built to see things in the dark. No, it's in our no. DNA to probably and be a little fearful, fearful or uneasy in the deepest of depths of darkness. So you're a liar. Uncertainty. 
But also, yeah. I'm afraid of you. We're out of time for this session. We'll talk again soon. Until then, I suggest you <laughs> try to stay away so... from dark places. Oh? Yeah, I don't like this guy. Until dawn. So is that the intro? Okay, dude creeps me out and I'm dead. <laughs> Hayden Panettiere! So she is in this! This intro is sweet though. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, so it's been a year to the day. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. Twins? Tonight, that was my sister? Girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. The girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. So they never found their bodies? Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's this beyond guy also looks awesome really familiar. to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <gasps> what? So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Yeah? I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. On the you know, anniversary? That, I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip mm. we'll never forget, alright? Something seems really yes. off about this. Why would you invite all your friends the year that your sisters disappeared if they haven't even been found yet? Back to where they literally went disappearing from. And like, he literally went from like, yo, this is gonna mean a lot to me. Let's live like freaking porn stars. I'm skeptical. Okay, let's do this. Friendship. Ten hours until dawn. Okay. Oh, we get to be Hayden. Oh, and the killer's back. Great. Sam. Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the PlayStation is working. So I said to look down. Objects that glint can be inspected. I don't see anything glinting. Oh, there's a glint. The gates busted. Climb over. Oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. What? Jesus, never mind. What? So you invited everybody to your cabin, but you're not only not at the gate. Click. <laughs> you're not only at the gate, not at the gate. But, oh! Okay, I need to concentrate. You're not only not at the gate, but your gate's broken and you just expect your guests to climb over. Ugh. Climb. This is so sketchy. Also, the fact that she just climbed that in a skirt. 
You go, girl. There's no one else here. Why are there no footprints? Aww. Hey, little fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. Cutie. Benley would be freaking. Ooh, what's this say? Indigenous people and butterfly <laughs> prophecies. Cool. Tribes once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black is death. Red is danger, brown is loss, yellow is guidance, and white is fortune. We want white and yellow. Yellow! Okay. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem and turning it can reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. All right, this one's yellow, so it means it's gonna be good, right? So we need to look for a bird for guidance. The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. Um, no one's concerned about graffiti in the middle of nowhere at a ski lodge. That's cryptic. Who invites people over and then locks them out? Actually, you know who does that? A killer. Backpack. What is this? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Uh. No. No, we don't check someone's phone. But what if that... Wait, who's Chris? calling? Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous Chris. Okay, Chris, was this your backpack? Oh, so... I found something kind of amazing. What? Okay, it's Chris's I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. Wait, Chris, where were you? Where? Right around here. I'm gonna blow your mind. Mmm, Chris. What? This glint? Read this. Oh, wanted poster. Milgram God. Victor. Connection to first degree, arson offense, as well as various so? death threats. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned. This is a really here. random place to put here. a wanted poster. Finding clues increases your chance of survival. Red, right? Yeah. I need to start Come reading on. those more. <laughs> beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have yeah. you ever met Josh's dad? Mind you, yeah. with a gun He's just chilling. Like Risley Adams or something. Like, it's one thing to have a shooting range, uh, it's another thing to just, just leave a gun there. Is it loaded? Are we shooting? I don't like guns. Oh. Ah. Okay. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right. I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's a wild kid. I think I love Chris. He's cute. Huh? I don't think so, girl. He's a sweetie. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No. No. I'm not shooting the squirrel. Absolutely not. Not 
Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, our ride's coming. Okay, our white butterfly's hey, good. Cause that, that's Come good on, fortune, Chris, right? Of course, we're not gonna shoot a squirrel. Only a killer would do that. But Chris, where were you? Are you the killer? Oh, where Chris now? Hey, it's over here. Nothing. Yeah, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it all came flooding back. Year goes fast. I was just like a random shooting range with a gun in it. But the doors are locked. I don't know how he keeps it all together. I. I'd be a wreck. Well, Can you open that? it? Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Sam, we already knew people that. Out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Mm, yeah, but if you knew your friends were coming, you'd unlock the door. After you. Oh, real joke. Okay, I guess he has a key. What's in here? What a crazy place to set up house. And no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family Yeah, mountain. agreed. Ew, creepy TV. Ew, is that a bathtub? Oh, it's like surveillance. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. What else How is in here? It's a big mountain. Okay. Yeah. It's so beautiful all the day, but at night just feels menacing. Like it's like a lot. Are we supposed to get on this rickety thing? <laughs> Hell no. What? Okay. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Uh, Intercar, everybody's tripping me out like this game. Prom. Also, this is nothing like prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? Is hey, this gonna like snap? Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped. I feel like I'm not like annoying yeah. person in movies who tries to guess what's gonna yeah, happen no, before it happens. I'll try. Did. I'll try. I have seen you so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. I don't know, Boom. that sounds like a complicated history with the family to me. If you guys were making fun of girls in training bras at an early age? Mm -mm, I disapprove. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Chris. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Trusting, irreverent, and confident. Okay? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh, for this girl now? Where do we go? What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh 
my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris, and what dating. kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Insist, give that back, explain, I'm with Mike. Give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature. And nature. What are they figuring? Uh, what, you figure guys what go out? <laughs> I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. Do they not know she's dating Mike? See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? Wouldn't you coordinate I mean, with your new boyfriend like before getting here? Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right in the okay, table who's car this? Emily. Oh, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. She oh, also looks, looks like an actress. Like pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Motivated, ambitious, active. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? So she's gonna make him carry all your bags? What? Also, did you guys have to climb a fence for this? No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Okay, move. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Intelligent? Intelligent? I recall him playing a very unintelligent joke last year. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Yeah. Guys, we're all friends here, Also, right? isn't that your ex? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Okay, you guys aren't dating anymore. Threaten. Back off, Mike. Welcome. We're all friends here. Yeah, like, we're all friends here. Why are we being weird? Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys going to make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so going to make out. OK, that was funny. Uh, no, seriously, I'm going to go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Mm. <laughs> I'm skeptical of everyone, oh, but crap. skeptical of him. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? Yeah, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed In to the talk same direction to her before we get all the way up went? there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. I'm not leaving you alone. Okay, I'll go. There's like... Mm. I mean, free will, but no. I'm not leaving you alone out here. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here. Why are you so you. mean? Nobody's gonna steal it. 
Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Uh, wow. Rude. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. Maddie, you deserve better. And so he's just carrying your bags alone? And oh, you just so happen to suddenly need to go backwards out of nowhere the minute your ex went that way? Sketchy. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Aw. Oh, I don't like this. I feel like something's gonna jump. <sighs> Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I a knew lot it. In the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, God. Emily, I wanted to like you. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you. I feel like this is gonna happen a lot like in this game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Well, no. your suspicions were right. Mislead. It's busted. He knows you were just looking in it. Encourage, take a look. You know what? If it was me, I'd want to know. Um, sure. White right, butterfly. Well, okay, I feel like every time I see white butterflies, yes. I chose right. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? Yeah. What the hell, man? Yeah. Yes. We knew nothing. she was. Nothing. That's exactly you what she was doing. Yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. You deserve better. You deserve so much better. So we don't like Mike or Emily. Yeah, and what about Jessica? Like, you literally have a new girlfriend. Check phone or read book. Read book. I wanted to see what she was reading. <laughs> you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, grab Snowball. Beat him in the face. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, yeah. great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Ah! Oh, oh ah! yeah, buddy deserves hey! it. Hey! Oh, snaps! Yeah. <gasps> the bird. <gasps> what do we do with the bird? What, what does it mean? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike! Boom! Shaka okay. laka! Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> this music is a vibe. Something, sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. You can me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Yeah, no. We're not gonna hit the bird. Of course not. Right in the face. Whoa! Oh. Ow! Right! Fine, yes. And then what? Oh. No more! Oh, oh yeah. Oh. This is so like, if it wasn't oh, yeah. the dude that we don't like already, this would be a wholesome moment. Done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. 
Ooh. All right. So are we calling it my Girl, favorite? Girl, he was just talking to You're his ex, though. So. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that he doesn't sounds deserve you. dirty. My lady. Kiss Mike or grab a snowball. <laughs> he don't deserve you. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. Was that him being like, I'm gonna kill you later? I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Ooh, spicy! Okay, who that? Not this guy again! Hello again. And how are we feeling? Mm, I was feeling better before I got here. I hope that you managed to stay away from dark places since we last spoke. We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. <laughs> I hope you got time, bro. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. What makes me more anxious? Men worry me or women worry me? Hmm. I mean, in terms of like killings, men, in terms of socializing and day-to-day -day life, I feel like guys are more upfront about their feelings, whereas girls like hide them more. But in terms of like killings, I like girl power and like, yeah, guys. Turn the page. Planes scare me or crowds? Crowds. I like planes. I fear heights or I fear drowning is like my biggest fear. I hate big bodies of water. Um, snakes scare me or rats scare me? Rats. I don't know why, snakes never really bother me. Knives are scary or gu I don't like guns. Why are we wearing gloves? Rats scare me or co uh, cockroaches? <laughs> that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Why do we just keep showing him? Oh God, clowns. Scarecrows are cute. Oh, that clown is freaking scary. Crows are scary or gore disgusts me? Gore disgusts me. Crows are just birds. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. Ooh. You're doing very well. You need therapy, bro. Like, if this is supposed to be therapy, you're, you need therapy. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Cockroaches are spiders. Oh god, if they're big like that, spiders. But cockroaches are also really gross. Um, needles or gore? Needles don't really bother me. Yeah, are you just gonna slap your hand down again? Zombies scare me or clowns scare me? Clowns. Zombies are slow. I fear dogs? Never. Why are there so many questions about gore? Like, they're all about gore. Storms scare me or gore scares? Okay, no, disgusts me, sorry. Yeah, gore is gross. This is very interesting. Who is it? Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Ew. Spiders, clowns, and awful. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Should we have answered not no, honestly? No, no, no. Like, are they going to fill the game with all that well, stuff I'm now? Afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but. I promise. We'll talk again very soon. Can we not? I don't want to talk again soon. Oh, I don't like that guy. <laughs> I 
sounds aggressive. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves... Yeah, we remember. Yeah. This was horrible. It was just a prank, hand. Emily, shh, shut your mouth. First off, I gotta say, I'm super like, excited. Like, still, I'm not gonna let her go. Especially if she was my sister. If that was me and my sister, I would have not, I would have let go with I really her. I would have not just dropped her. I still have no regrets. Man, I feel like this is not Darkness, nine hours until dawn. Okay, is Chris the killer? Josh, Hannah, and Beth's brother. Thoughtful, loving, and complex. Come on, you grew up here. It's, it probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I... Okay, so can we talk about why you invited us all here and then kept yeah. us locked out? Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. Yeah, I just had to hop a fence. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Gossip about Matt and Emily or worry, are you doing all right? Hey. Are you doing all right, bro? Doing all right. You all right? I, mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? That guy also looks so much like an actor. Damn it. I can't think of his name, though. Iced? What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. It's gotta be like a window um, around the corner. How did you send that video being like, hey guys, let's live like porn stars if you're locked out? I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Sketchy. He literally sent that video yeah, yeah. from inside, didn't he? It's weird to be back, confident. Let's be confident. So, how are you doing? It's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah. <laughs> hint, hint. Oh, they'd be cute if he's not a killer. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? Dude, don't be weird. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? What? No, cut it out. Don't be gross. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off Relax. already? Relax. This is Mike. I just like to bang see everyone. Some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario, just dripping with erotic possibilities? You. And Ashley, alone at last. He's supposed to be you like a grieving family. brother. You've been a perfect Not talking gentleman. about porn stars now, and erotic you possibilities. Come in for the kill. For the kill, yeah, because you're a killer. Disagree. I don't know. Agree. Maybe you're right. No. I, I don't know. know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? And what if she? she and like, like dude. Want to be friends with me more if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just leave listening? me alone? If you I want to bang her, up, bro, I'll do it myself. Like without your gross so commentary. On breaking into my parents' lodge, but I don't know. You tell me you're the one that locked us out. Plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be. Do you think it's both of them? Off. Do you think they're and both killers? Check, that's not a good way to get laid. But no, they would like they wouldn't be talking like this. Oh, axe? Here's an axe. Oh, huh. it's gone. Okay. Well, that's concerning. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. One. How do we know how far we need to go? Oh, okay. Shouldn't it be you doing this? This is your house or your lodge. And we just knew it was gonna be open, or what? Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. Climbing class? You need gym? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. 
Did I do that? I, I, don't, I don't think they so. They jump scare right when you're not Here, expecting it. Use this. Ooh, okay. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah. Have the deodorant now get in there you. if uh, you're locked out. Just like we do with the Lormy dudes. Yep, once we melt it, just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? What are you going to nope, sort out it. while I'm breaking into That's your lodge? They're, ah, uh, he, I feel like the brother's the most sketchy. Ooh, what's this? There's another totem. It's yellow. Is he yellow? <laughs> Okay, so we're just casually holding on to a lighter and someone's gonna get burnt to death? Like, do we have a choice? Cause I'd rather not, I'd rather not. Ex-janitor convicted for arson. Also, this is based in Alberta. Did that not just say the Alberta? <laughs> Are we Canadian? Hey. Oh, we have a nice plant. Snake plant. We shall call him Willis. Willis the snake plant. Some nice artwork. Ooh, family oh. portrait. That's cool. That's cool? I don't know. Kind of creepy to me. Who's been keeping the plants alive is my question. Okay, this plant, yo, this has happened to me before. This looks like the plant was dying and then someone started watering it again. Mmm. No, turn around. Let's go look at this plant. Dude, stop moving. <laughs> Someone's been planting this for a month. And they've been watering the plants to keep them company. Like, there's no sunlight in here. How are these plants alive? Where's the bathroom? What's that? Prom night photo. Damn. Hmm. What happened on prom night? Can we go upstairs? We need deodorant! Someone just left the window open? Wouldn't his parents have shut that when they locked up the cabin for the season? Hey, we saw this bathtub earlier. Out here. Yeah, don't blame me, blame Josh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> Screw this badger. Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Yeah, a badger. Where have you been? Baby. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Who have you been killing? Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Nobody's been up here? Up here lately. Nope. You sent What's a video up, from party here. People? Hi. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Make forget. Stuff at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Yeah. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. I saw you with um stay away from Emily. No, like I saw you. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. Yeah. With the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. 
Is that against the law? You're... Mm, watch yourself or apologize. No! Uh, watch yourself, dude. That was right. such a lame excuse. Right. I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Yeah. Like, yeah, just focus on your new girl. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? Why do you care? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Why Absolutely. do you care, you Emily? I'm becoming a cow. Revoke, that's uncalled for, Jess, or diffuse, chill out. You know what, chill out, Emily. What is your problem? No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're Something like such this. a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all Where's the, the girl power? advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Provoke. Shut your mouth, Jess, or diffuse. Emily, stop. Emily, just stop. Like, why are you doing Emily, this? Emily, stop. This is out of hand. Yeah. There's no reason to fight like this. Exactly, yeah, you're not even dating you Mike anymore. Over your ex -boyfriend, huh? yeah. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. No, I just wanted to kill you all. We can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? So I can kill you all. Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? So I can come yeah. kill you. All right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. Damn. Right up the trail. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you deserve good. better, dude. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. I don't know, you should have carried it listening? yourself. Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean... She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Why are you so oh mean? God, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Oh, so now you want me to go with you. We can get very warm. Okay. This girl's all okay. over the map. I thought you were okay. Miss Independent could do it alone. Sexile. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Why does he like to call everyone a porn star? Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right, roger that. What kind of host are you? Wait, really? What? No. Also, went and grabbed some red wine. Hoping it'll help with these jump scares. Hey, hot lips, photo booth. All right, read my mind. Read my mind? Okay. Are we taking a selfie? Smile! Ah, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, 
Okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> also, okay. it's nighttime well, and it's freezing and we're supposed to be walking to a cabin. This is not the time for selfies. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. What? Ease up on Emily, okay? Emily was being a bitch. Ah, uh, yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. True. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Screw Emily. Uh, yeah. How is it my fault? She doesn't understand what beat it you skank means. <laughs> yeah. Like a crack a dictionary much, biatch? Okay, but that is like, this girl's mean. <laughs> okay, are we at the cabin? Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yeah, but why didn't Josh use that generator for the first gate? Why did we have to climb over it to even get in here? And why did nobody even talk about that? What is this? Is this another totem? <gasps> What's gonna happen? Was that a clown? Was that a clown? No. No. No clowns. No clowns. <laughs> Nothing better jump at me when I do this. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Woo, you are a wizard. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, okay, so it's clearly not Mike, but like, is it... Is it friggin' Chris or is it Josh? Because... Oh, they gave me the heebie-jeebies. And who's the clown? Sam, The gates shall open. I just, like, is he following us? Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, it's just Awesome. Oh, yeah. Why are there so many close-ups on this girl's butt? It's like an avatar butt. Should we look around? He's like, yeah. No, there's a killer behind us. We should probably hurry. I am so psyched right now. A sexcapade. Wow. <laughs> a sexcapade. I want to go on a sexcapade. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Yeah, why are we here? I hope they're at peace, or what do you remember? It's Wait, what does this girl remember? You barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank yeah. that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, yeah, I mean, yeah, at least she's honest. It's not our fault they ran into the wood. Mm. Yeah. Is it though? I would have expected them to do a dumb thing like that. <sighs> if you guys hadn't have played such a freaking mean prank, you in particular. What was that? Did what was that? Hear that? I heard something. Yeah. What? We just hear a scream and we're just gonna keep going? It's like that part of the movies. I don't think we can get up. Or people like go into the attic. Like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! Oh my gosh. Is she okay? Oh. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. Oh, she landed on her feet. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my legs. This is quite a journey to get uh, to a yeah. cabin that Josh just sent us on. I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Cautious, push the cart, heroic. I'll jump down. Jump down. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Um. Hey, handsome. 
Would we have died if we stayed up there? Hurry up, there's a killer behind you! I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> Guys, we need to, yeah, y'all, roll. Get out of here. There's literally a killer dude behind you. I was not oh quick God. enough there. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. But whatever. We don't like this guy. I'm fine. Girl, get off the tracks. Also, are we not... Who did that? Like, are we not curious? Are we not like, where did that come from? Yes. Yes. This is how you die. This is how you die in scary things. Oh, Nelly. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin. Should I have gone the other way? Is this heading back up to a killer? It's over here. Did something glint? Huh. We're Cigar stubs. Someone's been here. It's recent. Wonder who's out here. <gasps> a mystic symbol. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. God, this is so there. creepy. The miners were getting their arts and crafts on now. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. At this point, wouldn't you guys want to go back to the log cabin? You guys have almost died like three times now. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. Yeah, agreed. What is this? A mind danger map? Like a real fixer-upper. What? Oh, this is making me claustrophobic. I don't like this. Oh no. Also, this is the longest trek to a cabin ever to just send people on without a map that you invited. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I thought like Lincoln. way closer than this. Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. What? Okay. Let me see. This posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. And, you know, what? wolves. Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. We're both just so unconcerned by what we, what? Okay, we've heard screams, you know, someone's tried to kill us on the train tracks. We just saw somebody in the freaking binoculars and we're unbothered. <laughs> we just don't even care. Y'all, that's how you know you really want to just get it in. You've almost died like three times and you're still willing to make the track. Watch out, bird brain. <sighs> Annoyed, they're rats with wings or witty. I was just, I was just flirting. Just answering is mating. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you got a lot of love to give. Yeah. You know, Here. also, why are we still unbothered by everything that's happened thus far? <sighs> God damn it, 
Do we finally make it? You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? Do we finally make it? What? I didn't figure I was you like, yeah, were the half empty type. Another you like. Stand back. You didn't clear the path. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah. Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Where'd she go? Yes. Ah! Yes. What? What happened? Okay, so I'm gonna end episode one here. If you guys enjoyed and you're excited or looking forward to the next episode, let me know by thumbsing this up. Also, based on the decisions I've made, feel free to let me know which you would have chose, you know, especially that anxiety one, because that was an interesting like questionnaire. And if you have any guesses on who the killer might be, also leave that down below because there's technically that dude that we don't even know yet, like the old janitor that got fired. So there's lots to still figure out. Aside from that, I'll see you guys all in my next episode. I'm giving you guys like the biggest internet hug ever. And I hope you guys are keeping yourself safe and just, you know, just taking care of yourselves. <laughs> Bye guys.